What's going on guys? Welcome to your third Coco Studio tutorial. The tutorial that you have all been waiting for. Finally, we get to actually create a program ourselves and we don't have to, you know, just look at tester programs because you know what? We're done setting everything up. It's time to jump in and actually start coding some crap. So, the first thing I want to teach you guys is about sprites. This is pretty much one of the most basic components of every Coco Studio application. Now, if you never created a computer game before, what a sprite is is pretty much all the cool things that you add to your program. You have your background image, of course, because you need one of those. You have all your menus and buttons, and then you have your sprites. Your sprites are the images that move around on your screen, get animated, crash into each other, and pretty much make your game fun. For example, if you ever played Super Mario Brothers, the original one for Nintendo, Super Mario would be a sprite, the enemies would be sprites, and the fireballs that came out of them, their sprites. These are all the things that we spend most of our coding on. So, you know, pretty much the cool images, pretty much all the cool stuff is Sprite. Um, not a drink, actually, it's not a soda pop. So if you're thinking, all right, I know what Sprite is, I saw a commercial about it, no, this is a different kind of Sprite. So you know, enough of me talking about Sprite, I'm getting thirsty, so go ahead and create a new Xcode project right there, and go ahead and choose Coco's 2D application and go ahead and choose this and you can name it anything you want name it you know bacon ham tuna I don't care name it anything you want save and now let's see what pops up like this bacon ham tuna sounds like a wonderful place so let me arrange this and let me move this around so you know before you guys start complaining alright now check this out first thing we want to do well you know even before the first thing the zero thing we want to do um, expand resources and you see you have a couple images here your background image and your little icon image but go ahead and download two uh, they can either be like 40 by 40 or 70 by 70 but anyways download two small ping images from Google or anywhere it doesn't really matter you just need any examples um, I download this chick right here and make sure you press copy right like that it probably won't matter but anyways um, go ahead and press add so I have this chick right here and I also have this pig and copy as well and add but anyways you don't need the chick and the pig you just need any two images um, that you can work with. It can even be this icon actually if you want. If you're too lazy to download anything uh, you can just use that. But anyways make sure you have two images because that's what we need for this tutorial to be adding to the screen. So before we actually do anything just go ahead and build and run your default program to make sure that you know you don't have any errors you got everything installed right and by default the templates include a basic program that says hello world on your iPhone simulator so if you drag your iPhone simulator you see a basic hello world text and you're saying alright how the heck did that pop up we didn't even code anything yet this is just uh, you know built into the template to make sure your program is running fine so anyways now that you have that, you know that we have uh, our template, our Cocos 2D application template is good to go. So where are the files for this? Well, if you expand classes right here, you can see that you have a couple files. Your Hello World delegates, or excuse me, these are your delegates, your Bacon Ham Tuna app delegates, and these are kind of the behind the scenes functions that happen you know whenever your program first opens so let's check a, take a look at some of these application did finish launching we don't code any of that this is you know these are kinda of system level methods what we are focusing on in this tutorial is these hello world files specifically this is your header file which we won't touch in this tutorial and this is your implementation file so make sure you're in hello world layer dot m and you can see that over here hello world scene dot m so this is the file we're going to be working in so let's go ahead and open that and let's do some cool stuff to it 
Let me go ahead and rearrange this again. There we go. That will be good enough. Alright. So as you can see, you already got a bunch of code in here. And most of this code is actually just to make sure that Hello World pop up on screen. But, you know, we really don't need a lot of this. So all the comments, if you want, you can delete. But the first thing that we want to do is add those two sprites to the screen. So what we're going to be doing in this program, I should have said this before, is we're going to be taking out that Hello World stuff because, you know, we want to code our own program. And what we're going to be doing is adding our two images, which is this chick right here and this pig on the screen. Just adding two basic images on a screen. So go back to your file and the first thing you need to do to do this is this. Go ahead and type under import, type C C sprite. Make sure you don't type it in any method because if you type it outside of every method, then every method is going to have access to it. These are called file level objects or file level pointers because everything in your file is going to have access to it. So anyways, CC sprite is how you tell your program that you're going to be creating a sprite on the screen. And in this program that we're creating, our sprite is simply an image. So you can go ahead and add a pointer to it and name it anything you want. I'm just going to name one of mine chick and CC sprite star and I'm just going to name my other one pig just so we know. Everything's clear. Now check this out. Right now, we just have two pointers and we don't really have you know any way to reference that this is supposed to point to the chick image and this is supposed to point to the pig image we just have two pointers pretty much dumb pointers right now so now what you want to do is you want to look for a method called init and go ahead and you can minimize that right there and by the way if you don't know how to minimize stuff just uh, highlight the arrows that are in this little bar but anyways you didn't need to know that either anyways go down to the method called init right here and this is a built-in method that not only comes with a Cocos 2D application templates but most of your templates have an init method built right into them and what init method is is whenever your view or in this case in Cocos 2D they pretty much call a view a scene um, technically they're not exactly the same thing but whenever I say view or scene for now just think of them as the same thing so anyways whenever your scene gets loaded this is the method that runs automatically without having to call anything so go ahead and delete everything in this if block so again we're working in the init inside the if block this is all the code to create the hello world stuff if you can see CC label hello world um, change the size position and add it to the screen well again like I said we are trying to take out that hello world stuff and add our own images so go ahead and delete everything in the if block and inside our if block here's where we're going to be creating our sprites so let's go ahead and make some room there we go and the first thing we want to do is reference our sprite into our all right that object we pointed to we actually want to reference it and tell you what image goes along with the object. So here's what how you tell what sprite is supposed to use what image. Go ahead and type the name of each sprite and remember one of mine was named Chick and go ahead type equals to CC sprite sprite with file just like that. Look at that. And now for your uh, it takes a string of what your file name is so your file names are going to be different depending on what file you download from the internet but mine was named chick dot ping so now you're saying alright for that sprite object use the chick image simple enough so now what you want to do on the screen is after you say what image you want to use you gotta say where on the screen do you want to put it so chick dot position definitely spelled that wrong position and set this equal to and this is very important CCP and then you need to pass it two coordinates say 150 150 now a couple things we want to take note of here what the heck is this CPP stuff we know position is a property obviously CCP is actually how you make points in Cocos 2D 
they of course need their own you know special coordinate system so this is how you do it now 150 150 is a little different than what you might think instead of the top left and go 150 over 150 down in Coco Studio you actually start at the bottom left so you're gonna go 150 right 150 up and it's gonna appear somewhere right here so now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the sprite to the layer so in order to do this go ahead and press self add child and the child you want to add is of course the chick sprite now I know I didn't talk about scenes or views or layers or anything like that but um, that's for another tutorial for now you need to know layers in Coco Studio work a lot like layers in Photoshop they're pretty much just layers of drawings that you can put on the screen but you'll be more familiar with this as we move on so anyways after this what we need to do is just go ahead and do the same thing with our pig so go ahead and let me tighten this up that's what she said and change this all to pig so for my pig sprite I'm gonna initialize this with a, initialize this with the file pig.ping that's a tidbit better right there and for the pigs position let's go ahead and put this at 250 250 so you know they're not overlapping each other and add child pig to the layer right there now if we go ahead and run this we can see on our iPhone stimulator and by the way I know it's not called a stimulator it's just what I say my own little joke to myself check this out the first thing we did is referenced the spray object to say alright for the image we want you to use is this chick dot ping now where do you want you to position it 150 over 150 up right there and add it to the layer because if we do if we didn't do that it wouldn't display so that's why it's displayed and why is this pig image I mean the only thing different than this one is it it's a different image of course and the position is 250 250 so now you can clearly see the coordinate system this one is 150 over 150 up and this pig is 250 over 250 up so that's how the coordinate system works in Coco Studio it's a little bit different than the iPhone typical um, coordinate system being in the top left but anyways that is uh, pretty much all I wanted to cover in this tutorial of course all we did is created basic sprites using CC Sprite. That's how you create a sprite object. Reference it using Sprite with File, then writing whatever your image files is called, and then position it on the screen, and then just add it to the layer. We'll be talking about layers and scenes later on. But anyways, that's all I want to cover in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next tour. By the way, check out my forum and my iPod apps. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.